Hi, now here we have an example on using the geometric progression. It's an example you might like to try if you haven't tried already. Just give you a moment to pause the video, come back and check your work solution with mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Now, the question then is that a company predicts a yearly profit of 120,000 in the year 2013. The company predicts that the yearly profit will rise each year by 5%. And the predicted yearly profit forms a geometric sequence with common ratio 1.05. And in part A, we've got to show that the predicted profit in the year 2016 is £138,915. So to do something like this, you've got to be familiar with the geometric progression. And if not, you can always check it out on my website, examsolutions.net. But essentially, if you've got a geometric progression, that is that the first term is A and then the second term is AR, R being the common ratio, third term AR squared, fourth term AR cubed and so on, then the nth term, UN, is given by AR to the power N minus 1. So using this, we can say that the predicted profit okay is going to equal ar to the power n minus 1 a the first term is 120000 and we're multiplying this by the common ratio which is 1.05 to the power n minus 1 well the first term is 2013 this is 214 215 and 216. You can see we've got four terms, but we take do 4 minus 1, so it's going to be to the power 3. And if you work this out, you'll find you get the required answer, which is £138,915. Now, in part B, we've got to find the first year in which the yearly predicted profit exceeds £200,000. And in other words, this just means that the nth term, UN, okay, has got to be greater than 200000 And if that's the case, we can pick up on this formula here because that would therefore mean that we have got 120,000, that's the first term, A multiplied by the common ratio, 1.05, to the power N minus 1 has got to be greater than 200,000. Now, if I was to divide both sides by 120,000, I'm going to be left with 1.05 to the power n minus 1 is greater than, and if you do, as I say, 200,000 divided by 120,000, you get exactly 5 thirds. Be careful with inequalities. If ever you divide by a negative number, do remember to switch the inequality. I'll be mentioning that again later on through here, because there's several traps that one can fall into if you're not careful. Right, now, to work out the power here, we can take logs to both sides. If I take logs in base 10, just written simply LOG, then I've got the log of 1.05 to the power n minus 1 is greater than the log of 5 thirds. And at this stage, we can use the power rule for logs. When you've got a power up here on the log, you can bring it out to the front of the log. A rule that you should be familiar with. So if not, just check out logs on my website, okay? And there's tutorials on that. So this is going to be n minus 1, all multiplied by the log of 1.05. And this is going to be greater than the log of 5 thirds. Now, we've got to be very careful, again, when you're dealing with questions involving logs and inequalities. 
because it's so easy just to trip up on something like this. We've now got to divide both sides by the log of 1.05. Now, if you've got the log of any number more than 1, it's always a positive value. But if you take the log of any number less than 1, it's a negative value. And it might not look negative, but when you divide by it, remember, you would need to switch the inequality round. But we can survive this one quite easily because it's a positive value, the log of 1.05, the log of this number is over 1, so it's going to be positive. So we don't need to switch that inequality round. But I'm just saying that just so that you're aware of that in other questions. All right, so we'll just put that in, log of 1.05. So if we now add 1 to both sides, we're left with n, and n has got to be greater than the log of 5 thirds over the log of 1.05 and then plus that 1. And if you work this out, you'll find that n turns out to be greater than 11.46 and so on. And we want the least value of n and n has to be an integer, so therefore the least value of n has to be equal to 12. Now that means that if we're to get that year, we've got to be very careful here. It's very easy, again, to trip up in this. Because what we've got is that we started in the year 2013. And to th this, it would seem as if we've just got to add 12. But we haven't. We've got to add one less than that, 11. Just imagine if we had, say, uh, n equal 2 okay then what we would have to do is if n equal 2 it would be 2013 and the year 2014 two years are taken into account but all I would be doing is adding 1 to 2013 to get 2014 I hope that makes sense so when we've got to add what would appear 12 years, we take one off and it has to be plus 11. So if you add that to 2013, you've got 2024. All right, so as I say, I hope that makes sense there.